Khan, Khan. All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. Joshua, Allah, brother, I tell you, I'm Y'all are coming back at you with these precepts. And yet, another code cut giving the course. All on and glory to you. How will Pastor Omar Shak? Well, I'm like, I was shy. I talked to the doctor, the righteous, giving the Kapal Kabanyam. That's a client by Yatha Adawa. That's double honor to the elders of the house of David. That's been laboring and doing in this truth, patiently waiting for the second coming of our Lord, Hamashak Uh Also, giving a strong, strong, strong right, salute and shalom. Right, why Yah Bashmi, I'll shout back a thumb to all the mighty occupant highways, byways, pushing his truth towards the four corners of the earth and sincerity and patience of heart, making and body a living sacrifice in season, out of season. Okay, and for also all those those mighty brothers and sincere taking notes can built up and steadfast, building themselves up to go out on the highways and byways. I bid you all a mighty strong salute and shalom as well. Right, and also right, giving a, a a hearty, hearty, hearty shalom. Why yeah, bashmi ashab shamar thumb to our aquat and his truth, married a merit that's raising up the children decently in order in house in in the households and the law such commandments and fear and fear of the Lord. Right, that's reversing their husbands, right, being obedient, uh, cooking, so on, submissive. Also, uh, working with, with their hands as mighty Proverbs 31 women. And also, also giving a strong, right, mighty salute, right, while y'all bash me, brought wash my thumbs, all the mighty bonium, the mighty children, and his truth. Uh, honoring thy mother and thy father, being built up in the law, statutes, and commandments. And also, being a shining light and pillar. In this land of darkness, kind of so with that, uh, today through the spirit, right? We are switching it up, right? We're introducing a new series, okay? Right, the uh, WFI monographs, right? Slash, um, anthropology, right? Slash, etymology, okay? We're going to be going into different, uh, uh treatise dissertations. Right, which are different writings, okay? Going to be going into different writings, different books, as well as bringing in information, right, for the edification of the saints, okay? So this would be the first, the Negro Bible, the Slave Bible, select parts of the Holy Bible for the use of the Negro slaves of the British West India Islands, Introduction by Joseph Lumpkin, man. All right, and you can get this, this, this book, right? A while, while you still can, on, on Amazon. All right, uh, select uh, bookstores, and hey, while you still can, understand, right? Because the the price on on these uh, certain books are are going up. All right, these these uh these records, right? You have the iconoclasms. Understand, right? You have these books of antiquity that's been hidden from the from the public. Oh, all right, uh, understanding that that going into and diving into these history, these records that they would help to spell a lot of lies and a lot of uh, fallacies that our people ha have been sold to. Okay, um, a, a lot of uh, uh, false, uh, false uh, misclaimers. Okay, um, this would uh, dispel a lot of um, a lot of so-called hearsay. Understand? Okay, uh, a lot of homonyms, right? Nomenclatures, right? And 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 things that that are just saying by people who are are unlearned or just ignorant to these things in this world, all right? And and not saying ignorant in a in a mad or a malicious intent, understand, right? But for just meaning not knowing, okay? Because a lot of our people, they don't know. They go through um, hearsay, okay? They say that um, this so-called Bible, right, which has, right, which has all 80 books, okay? Or right, has Genesis, right? Has the law of Leviticus, Right, has Genesis through through Malachi. Right. Has first Ezra Shalaki. Right. Has right the the Apocrypha. Okay, first Ezra through Second Maccabees. Okay. Has Saint Matthew. Right through the book of 
Revelation. All right. They will say that, you know, that the Bible is is uh, corrupt. OK, they'll say that 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 the Holy Scriptures right, are, are false, you know, and that, that the white man wrote this book. OK, you know, and, you know, the so-called white man, you know, he, he, it's a it's a, um, a, a book of stories. You know, it, it's a, a book of good sayings. OK, it's a book of of a uh, fairy tales. Man. All right. Hey, well, if we have the, the true understanding. All right. And, and we can actually go through at the Bible. OK. And, and actually touch on on actually the the um introduction of the King James Bible, right, which we will do at a later time. Understand. Right. But right now we're focusing on the Negro Bible. All right. You know, uh, brothers have have records, you know, outside of the uh, Texas Receptus, right? The um, Masoretic Text, Septuagint, okay, and have many, many records and archaeology and findings that can validate the writings of each book and, and each chapter, right? But first, right, we're going to, to the spell and pull down strongholds, man, right? Because that's what this truth is about, man. Right, casting down strongholds in these last days. So like it. Let me get a quick precept. Right, because you have a a lot of right false sense, right, false teachings, which we actually will will read about and cover. So like it, which we actually will read about and cover throughout Slocky so like um throughout this book. Okay. Because when you go through the readings, right, how they manipulated, taking certain verses out, which we will read, all right, as these uh, so-called men are uh, set up to uh, teach, right, or set up to 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 a uh, spoon feed, understand? And you can see how these uh these hey just put it out there, double smart. A crafty setup, all right, to manipulate and to deceive our people. Okay, understand? All right, so this is Second Corinthians, chapter ten and verse number four. Actually, I'm going to start at at verse number three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Okay, understand? You know, so we're not uh, men that's just going to get carnal. Okay, you know, men that, that that's so called, you know, when a a opposition or or a threat comes not all right we're going to get uh irate you know going to get on the uh the so-called physical defense okay i uh, start to, to, to lash out you know or become aggressive as other men do right hey we're going to earnestly contend for the faith let me get that in jude so lucky right because the most i said that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? Hey, this is spiritual. Okay, going through the precepts. Okay, rightly and rightly dividing the word of truth. Understand? All right. This is the book of St. Jude, chapter 1, and verse number 3. Beloved, when I gave you all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you to exhort you that ye should earnestly Contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. All right, so Jude, right, the brother of of our Lord and Savior, right, the actual blood relative of Hamashiach Wamalaki Yahweh okay, our anointed king. And he said that what? That we should must earnestly contend for the faith. And you must contend. For this truth, man. Understand? 
eight, uh, um, slock it. The, 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 the Lord also said, right, that you must be always ready, man, right, to give an answer, right, to whom that requires of it. All right, so this is through the spirit, my right, response, okay, and going down and breaking down the so-called Negro and slave Bible, okay, and you could also get the publication, get the writings of thereof, understand, All right, for your own edification, okay, all right, so, and this is the dedication I am grateful to Dennis Logan for assisting in the production of both the printed and audio versions of this work. Appreciation also goes to Wanda Adam for her insights and additions. Understand? Okay, so you can receive not only, okay, if you're not only able to, to get the, the, um, the uh, printed version, all right, you have a uh, certain, you know, uh, sites, you know, maybe uh, Amazon, your so-called Kindle, uh, your, your so-called Adobe, you know, where you can have a digital copy. You also have um, audio work as well. Understand? All right. Kind of, so reading on, it says the slave Bible represented a false and controlled narrative based on religion. It was published for the purpose of limiting education and information and maintaining control of a population, even now we are all unwilling recipients of a narrative controlled and disseminated by a few powerful people to further their own agendas. Let us understand and avoid the dangers this time. Let us keep digging for the truth until we hit the rock. Understand? Understand? All right. And the truth uh, thereof, man, right, is, is in the Holy Scriptures, man. It is in, right, the book of Genesis, right, through the book of Revelation and its totality. Understand? Okay, uh, uh, having the, the, the blue letter, having the concordances, right, the, 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 um, the, uh, different strongs, okay, um, uh, going into, Right, the, the records, right, comparing and, and contrasting, understanding the Greek, understanding the, the Hebrew, right, and that we may be able to disseminate and, and discern thereof. All right, uh, so this is the introduction, the Nero slash slave Bible. Understand, it reads The slave Bible was published in 1807. It was commissioned on behalf of the society of the of the conversion of Negro slaves in England. The Bible was used by missionaries and slave owners to teach slaves about the Christian faith and to evangelize slaves. The Bible was used to teach some slaves to read. But the goal first and foremost was to tend to the spiritual needs of the slaves in the way the missionaries and slave owners saw fit. Understand? Okay. And and again, we can go through we can go through the history. Understand? We can go through we can go through the records. Right how King James, right, which we will touch on, all right, a so called black man, right, he authorized right he authorized right for 70 men right 70 of the of the top hebrew and greek scholars all right roughly around slocky uh roughly around the 1600s and go into the records thereof understand and see how right these books right were, were translated Right, slocky or transliterated, right for a uh, a more clear and concise understanding and integrity of the words of, of the Lord. Right, understand that that we had Genesis, Exodus, right, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Hey, that's that's your your Law, Testament, Commandments. If you take away right the the books 
of the law, statutes, and commandments. Write Joshua, write Joshua, which is a book of war. Understand? A book of how our people had, had overcame and have cut down the, the heathen and took down nations. Understand? Hey, these things, right, are not are not in here, man. Understand? Right? First Ezra, right, second Ezra, right? A all of the of the apocrypha, right, which gives you the missing timeline, right, of how the Israelites be became Greeks, right? Because this was, was all during during the time of the Greeks, right, leading into the Roman Republic, which became the Roman Empire. Understand? So taking away these historic accounts, taking away these records, all right, a these are what has been used by so-called missionaries and right, so-called slave owners, right, for the betterment and seen and seen foot of of controlling the minds of the people. All right, understand? All right, come. All right, come. So back, back at it. Understand? It reads the names of the editors were never mentioned, although their intentions were clear to limit and control the the, the biblical narrative. The missionaries had to minister to the slaves while attempting to appease the slave owners in the British West Indies, the owners feared an uprising. Their usual paranoia was heightened because Haitian slaves had overcome their masters three years earlier. In the only slave revolt in history, in which slaves successfully overthrew their European oppressors and formed a new nation, slaves and free people of color led by a former slave and the first black general of the French army, Toussaint L'Ouverture, along with the man who would become his successor, John Jacques des Salinas, defeated Napoleon Bonaparte forces overcoming their masses. Okay, and, and this was in an immediately retaliation right to the Haitian Revolution right eight uh, of, of 1804 okay in which there was a mass uh, a um a uh, quote unquote mass publication right and in a mass um a mass so-called uh, crafty council right for uh, uh Slocky, uh, for the uh controlling of the so-called Negro mind in these days. Understand? All right. Console. It's like this is page. It's like a six. Understand? It reads. It reads. There was an uneasy tension. A slave owner sought, sought to maintain control and keep the slaves working calmly. And the abolitionists began to question the normal cost of slavery. The abolish movement was growing, and for the first time, slocky the souls of the slaves were being considered as they prepared to compile a special a special Bible for slaves in the West Indies. The missionaries agreed to uplift the Africans without teaching them anything that could incite rebellion. Right? Understand? Because when you read the the uh, book of of, of Exodus. Okay, especially uh, uh, during the um the uh, time of our people coming out uh, of Egypt. Hey, that was a great rebellion. Huh? Hey, that was a great a, a great um for lack of better terms uh, awakening. Huh? Hey, that was a great thing of the Most High showing His power upon the earth, right? Showing how the Lord how He fights for His people and how He destroyed a whole entire nation okay understanding how the lord literally i mean killed and washed a whole a whole nation a whole army and his king inside of the red sea right so where right those remnants those shirts and those horses are still there to this very day understand 
right? Understanding how the Lord, right, during the time of Judges, how the Most High, right, how, how it tells you in the book of First Chronicles, the um, 19th chapter, understand, right, how the Lord that he was with via Judges, right, before the Most High, he was with Slaki before he was with the, the, the kings in those days. You understand? Right? Uh, I'll read the the uh, book of Judges, man. Right? Chiefly, Slaki. Let me get one of my Slaki favorite verses, man. Let me get one of my favorite verses in the book of Joshua. Right? Because the Lord said, Through the hand of Joshua, and ye shall fear none of these men. You understand? Right, this is the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 10 and verse number 22. Then said Joshua, open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And he did so and brought forth and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave. The king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of, of Jermuth, the king of, of Lachish. And the king of Eglon, and it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war, which went with him, come near, put your foot upon the neck of these kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, fear not, nor be dismayed, be strong and of good courage. For the Lord, sorry, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight, man. Right, eight and and those two verses alone, slog eight. That that will, will fire you up, man. Right, eight, I, eight, I know it, it gives me so a uh, so called you know what what they call goosebumps. You know, I'm um, reading Joshua ten, right twenty four on one down, right reading how right the Lord. Right, how he gave us power and dominion, and to put our feet upon the necks of of the so called kings of these nations, and also right through that same spirit, right, charged us to be of good courage, right, for for the Lord, right, will have us do so upon all of our enemies whom we fight, and you you cannot have the book of Joshua, in right in. The uh, so-called slave Bible, man. Understand? You can't have first and second Maccabees, which was a revolt, a revolt against the so-called white man. You can't have that in inside of the Holy Bible, man. You can't have first Samuel, second Samuel, right? What where David's mighty men of war? Okay, a um a, a where David said he he said garrison, um uh, uh, uh upon the um Edomites, man. Okay, right. You got first, uh, first king, second kings, right? Where all these so called blacks, right? So called Hispanics, right? Native uh, American men were prophets, you know, they they are uh, set upon thrones. Okay, they had the so called uh, um, Esau and these different nations, okay, set up in, in subjection, right? Ravished them, spoiled them, okay, um, uh, uh even uh, during the time of. Uh, Hezekiah, okay, had had um uh engines of war, cisterns, okay, had the gold, right, the the menorahs, the shield, the buckler, okay, um uh, even in, in First Kings, the 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 attempt chapter, how Solomon, you know, a, a so called black man, a so called dark skinned king, a how he had six hundred, right, and and um and sixty six talents of gold sent to him annually, man. Understand? Hey, you cannot have these things, right? These historical records of our kings, right? Of of our men inside of the Holy Bible, man. Socket or or inside of the Negro Bible, uh, rather, man. Understand? All right, and seeing how the Lord utterly smote, right, and took down these uh, uh, different cities. All right, let's jump into Joshua. Socket real fast. Joshua chapter 11 and verse and verse number slocking 
and verse number nine. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He he hooed their horses and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back and took Hazor and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before Slaughter before time was the head of all uh, of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them that there was not any left to breathe. And he burnt her sword with fire, man. Right? And in all the cities of those kings and all the kings of them did Joshua take and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them as Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded. All right. All right. See that, man? All right. So, hey, hey Joshua, man. All right. Hey, 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 he was slammed, man. A hey, slew kings, man. All right. Hey, he said that, that, hey, this man, so called, understand, he was the head of all those uh, so called kingdoms, man. Okay. Right, imagine you you just have your brothers, right? The so-called Haitians, right, which are the um tribe of Levi, a they just so-called conquered and and took down the French, man. All right, right, and now, right, and and uh, we can dive into um this history uh later, man. Right, but but even when when you deal with the so-called history of the Colombians and and how they got their independence or the, the reason why they got that that, that so-called blue right and 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 um and, and red right those colors inside of, of their flags right because their brethren right the haitians the tribe of levi a they, they, they came and helped them and receive their their independence right and they helped them right for revolt and get free from the uh spaniards man all right. All right. So a hey, saying these, right? How right the Lord right had our forefathers right to stand, right to stand and to take down and to conquer all of these kings, man. All right. A hey, seeing how the Lord had us raise up. All right, and destroy, so I can, and, and to destroy and to cut down these men. Hey, hey these things were were, were in, inside a, a riot, man. All right. Let me get a um one last quick precept, man. All right. This is the book of Joshua, right? Twelve, man. All right. Hey, and and th this chapter is fire, man. And you can't have a title called right the one and thirty kings smitten by Joshua, man. All right. Hey, you cannot have these these things, man. All right. Come so this is the book of. Joshua chapter 11, Slaki chapter 12, and verse number 7. And it reads, And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side, Jordan, on the west from Slaki, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir. Which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession, according to their divisions, in the valleys and slaki in the mountains and in valleys and in the plains, and in the springs and in the wilderness and in the south country, right? That that the Hittites, the Am the the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the uh, Jebusites. Okay, jumping down. So I can jump in down to verse, to verse 24. The king of Tirzah won in all 30 and one socket. So uh one and socket. So the king of Tirzah won all the kings 30 and one. Alright, so our forefathers were going through, man, and, and slaying kings, man. Right, slaying them, man. Alright. A a a this book. Hey, the, the book of, of Joshua alone, man, should, should put you on, on fire, man. Hey, the, the book of Joshua, right, what, what had what have you ready a, a to, a, a to in, incite a so-called rebellion, man. All right? 
right? Um, going back to the uh, law, man, right? Exodus 14 and, and 14, right? Where the Lord said that, that he shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace, man. All right? God, so, Salaki, right? So, uh, jumping back, back in this thing, man, through the spirit. All right, so, so a, a these certain books, right? These war books, right? The, the, the Maccabean revolts, a these things would incite a riot through the spirit. Understand? God, so jumping uh, back into page six, it reads The Holy Bible is a library of sacred books containing stories and trials and tribulations, courage and hope, battles and victories. All right, understand? It reads, the books tell stories of slavery, struggle, redemption, and freedom, whether we are enslaved by our own sin or the cruelty of our fellow man, and whether we are set free by the grace of Yahweh or through the bloody ravages of war. The Bible tells a story of our downfall, our enslavement, our battles, our escapes, our victories. And the glorious grace of freedom, man. All right? Hey, and we just read about uh, uh, about freedom, man. Huh? Okay. Read the book of, of Judges, man. Right? How uh, how every time there are people were in, in captivity, man. Right? The Lord, he raised up a judge. Right? To help and, and, uh, to help um, uh, save us, man. Understand? All right, Salaki. Let me get that real fast. Quick precept. Salaki. So lock it, bear with me. Let me get one quick precept. Understand? All right, this is the, the book of Judges, chapter 2, and verse number 15. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them, man. Right? All right? right, so every time our people, right, that, that they were oppressed, they were afflicted, okay? Hey, the Lord, hey, he, would, he would raise up a, a judge, right, a king, understand? A deliverer, a savior, okay, to lead us and to guide us out, out of captivity, to lead us and guide us out of, of the situation thereof that we may have, have been in. All right. So, so uh, reading back on, it reads, throughout, throughout history, the Bible has encouraged us to fight against our enslavement to sin, hell, death, and the grave. But it has also encouraged us to fight against our fellow man, who might choose to take our freedom and use for his own purpose, just as Egypt enslaved the Jews and used them for labor to build their empire. So were the slaves of Africa used to build up the, the British West, so like the empire of the British West Indies and the United States, just as Moses stood against the Egyptians and led the children of Israel out of slavery and bondage, so are we encouraged to stand up against the cruel bonds of slavery and fight for our freedom and the freedom of fellow man. The, the clarion call for human freedoms is found in many forms and in various stories throughout the Bible, but all of these ideals were stripped and carved out of the slave Bible, huh? All right, all right. So, so this this a uh, slave Bible, right? Uh, uh, which we're also going to uh, teach on is fa is is the so called fashion or the the quote unquote catalyst of modern day Christianity, man. All right, all right. That's why a a um a lot of Christians, right? A you, you're so called docile, man. All right. You know, a, a you so called, you know, you say, well, you know, we gotta forgive the uh, you know, that the so called white man, right? Just let bygones, you know, you know, just let bygones be bygones, 
right? That the the, the past is the past, right? Oh, hold, hold on now, you know, um, you know, we don't want to, you know, um, upset these these uh, guys, man. Hey, that that's forms of of, of Stockholm uh, syndrome, man. Huh? Right of Dasso. Okay, right. Once you understand, right? Hey, when you read the book for for what it is, man. Hey, Shalakim. The Lord said, right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, that what? Surely oppression make what? Make it a wise man mad. So when you actually had the wisdom, when you actually had the understanding, okay, when you actually read this thing in, in its totality, man, right? Read about how, how how the Lord raised us up, man, right? How the Lord charged us, man, to, to take down kings, man, right? How the Lord destroyed men, a, a who and not let us go. Hey, hey, uh, uh, once you actually think of all the rape, of all the robbery, of all the, the, the damn lies, okay, the manipulation, man. Hey, these things are, are going to make you mad, man. Understand? So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart, right? And, and, and the heart, we proceeding to... Right, Jeremiah 17 and, and 9 on down, right? The heart is, is is talking about your mind, right? Your brain, right? Because your physical heart is what? It's a vessel. It does nothing but pump blood, right? Beats. Okay. It it um it uh crescendo, right, decrescendo, right? It speeds up, slows down. Okay. So your heart, right, um, your so your so-called heart, your mind, right, has been has been corrupted. Right through the gift known as Christianity. Understand? Right? The gift known right as the Negro Bible, man. Right? So where they have slaves obey your masters, man. Out of context. Understand? Right, not, not understanding, right, that in the book of uh, of of Ephesians, right, that that's going that that that's really a, a going into the so-called younger men, the so-called the, the so-called um, um, newer men, in the uh, truth, understand? You may be a, a young man, understand? Hey, you may have 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 just learned the so-called law, statutes, and commandments, right? Your masters, right, are, are your so-called teachers, right? Your so-called men that stewards, right? Studious, all right, a men. Right, that, that that have been actually learned and tried and proven, right? A, for, for not just a two years, man, but decades, man. Right, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years. A prudent man of, of, of understanding, wise in the law, that can discern good from evil. Okay, come so read it back on. All right, page number seven. It reads, "In slock it in, in the British." West Indies at the time of slavery, a number of Christians sought to convert slaves from African paganism to Christianity. Some of the Christian slave owners wished to introduce their slaves to the Bible. However, to do so would be to introduce them to concepts of hope, encouragement, and the struggle for personal freedom found within the book in a misguided attempt to save the souls of the people they deemed savages, quote unquote, while preventing their exposure to the messages of struggle, hope, and freedom found within the Bible, a group of white Christian missionaries and slave owners slock it up, parsed the Bible itself, cutting out and removing all chapters and verses that may have led to slaves to consider the concepts a resistance, escape, and freedom. All right, see that? This is under the guidance of Angelican Bishop of London, right? Belly B. Uh, Portius, founder of the Society of the Conversion of Negro Slaves. The Bible was edited down to a simple and understand volume, devoid of any verse that could inspire insurrection. In addition, the bishop's orders were to prepare a short form of public prayers for them together with select portions of scripture 
particularly those which relate to the duties of slaves towards their masters, man. All right, see that, man? All right, hey, and, you know, and, and as I just uh, 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 touched on earlier, man, okay, All right, hey, that's where our people, right, a hey, psychologically, a hey, is deeply embedded hey, and, and, and deeply rooted, man, right, a hey, for you to so-called embrace, all right, the people that raped you, that robbed you, that murdered you, man, that's that's responsible for for um gentrification, all right. A a um that's a so called responsible, right for, um for what they have, which is called residential mapping. All right, a um uh which is something that 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 we will also touch on, uh Lord willing, okay, all right. A if um not sure if if uh, uh many you know brothers or sisters if you've seen the so called show them, on. On on uh on uh, uh Amazon man, right? But but one of the, the episodes right, you had you had these so called uh white men, right? Nasty wrinkly men, at at a so called uh a uh, sit down table, right? And, and, and these men that they come up and and they plan these things twenty years in in advance, thirty a fifty years man, a even a hundred years in advance, right? How. Uh, how they're going to so-called set up right their their um their uh, residents right set up their, their so-called uh, uh neighborhoods man All right you know when when Esau is tired of living in the uh, so-called suburbs he comes up with plans and ways right of how they're going to take back the, the city man right that's why you see all of a sudden these so-called rundown towns man right out of nowhere you see Esau slowly creeping in right Esau slowly uh, uh seeping in man all right, and and then now all of a sudden your so called rent is going up sky high, man. Right, your rent is going up, right? T times two, times three, times five, man. Right to push, right to push out Jacob be, be, because Jacob is poor, man. Right, and and we lack the, the, the so called resources. Right, they set up these so called resident um residential maps, man. Right to where they're going to so called uh, build up their their Whole Foods, right? Build up their, their so called shops, man. Right, a build up the so called infrastructure, right, and 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 push, uh, and, and push you out, man, right. But uh, put themselves in in those same areas, man, right. That was once the hood, that was once the so called ghetto, right. That was once the the, the so called slums, man. All right, and, and then push you out into their so called hand me downs, right. That their so called um, right. Their so called old uh, areas thereof, man. A, and then they they do what? They stop providing, man. All right? All of a sudden, man, it's, there's there's no more grocery stores, but what? But then fast food, which is going to do nothing but but then kill you, man. Right? Uh, 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 full of damn hormones and poisons, right? And and um and uh, things uh, 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 of that nature, man. All right? But in, in these uh, different uh, so-called... Um, avenues, uh, neighborhoods, man, right? They have all of the uh, best things, man. Okay. Hey, these are all, right, socket, right? These are, are all, right, uh, damn, perpetuations, avenues, right, to so called, um, destroy you, man. All right. Hey, and, and these so called men, hey, they can come into, into your, uh, uh, uh neighborhood and, and be safe, man. Right, hey, um, it it was a saying in the uh city, man. A hey, uh, once you see Becky, right, in the neighborhood walking her dog safely, hey, you know, you know it's finna be be over, man. Right, they finna uh, damn you, uh, uh, run you out of your own uh, of your own city, man. Okay, and 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 Billy, he doesn't get touched, right, walking down the, the so called block, man. Right, Bob. Right, Thornton, man. Okay, uh, a uh, damn um, a uh, uh, Sherry, right? A hey, these women, man. Right, these men. Okay, a hey, you see them and, and you give them what a a reverence, man. Right, because right of that so called mindset of particularly those which relate to the duties of slaves towards their masters, man. Right. 
hey, you'll give the so-called um, white man a reverence, man, right? But when you see your own, your own brother, right, who looks just like you, okay, you want to fight him, right? Kill him, man, right? Or, or as they say, that old crab in a uh, barrel spirit, man, hey, you, you want to pull them down even further, man, even more, all right? Okay, so, hey, and, and it's locked, and, and that's also the same way the same way that our masters would, would, would treat us, man. Right now, the same way, right, your master would, would, them, would them call you, you know, a um, a uh, good-for-nothing nigga, right, beat you, right, you know, and do, just, just, just do whatever, man. Treat you un man. Right now, a, if we look at each other, right, the same way, right, that our so-called masters, you know, look upon us. All right, but treat them the, with, with the reverence and respect that that we should treat our own, our own brethren, right? As as a whole, understand? Okay, so so back into it. All right, back into it. It reads: the British clergy, missionaries, and slave owners in the British West Indies found themselves in the position of deciding what parts of the Bible slaves would be allowed to read. They had to choose which parts would be needed to teach salvation of the soul and obedience to the master while leaving aside all other chapters and verses. An example of a verse deleted is Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Hamashak. Slaken, in Hamashak. Slaken. There, there, there's neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither bond nor free. <coughs> Slug. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Hamashiach. Yeah, I was shot, man. Right? God, so, so, so literally, man. Right? And, and this is one of Christians' favorite verse, man. Right? A for ye are all one, right, in Christ Jesus, man. Ye are all one in, in Hamashiach. Slug it. An example of a verse left in the slave Bible is Ephesians <coughs> six and five. Right, servants be obedient, be obedient to them that are your masters, man. All right, a and and, and Galatians three and twenty eight is one of the most so called, uh, one of the most so called uh loved and and uh and famous. Uh, verses that's taken out out of context, right? By uh, so-called Christians, man. All right, All right. But it says what? There's neither bond nor free, All right? So, so you can't have your so-called slaves a thing in that 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 they're equal to to the so-called white man. You can't have your, your so-called servants, right? All right. That 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 you're beating down, that you're spitting on, you're beating their back in, man. Right? Thinking that. That they're just as as, as, uh, as equal as you, man. Okay. Hey, and when you watch that 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 um that movie, you know, a birth of a uh, nation. You had Nat Turner. All right, understand. You had Nat Turner, who made a very uh um famous line, right? For every for every so called verse, you know that that they they use against us, right? That there's two more that can be used that directly against them, huh? Understand, right? And an example of a verse left in the slave Bible is Ephesians six, six and five. Right, servants be obedient to them that are like your servants be obedient to them that are your masters, man. All right, and again, so like it. Let me actually pull pull that up real fast, just for the the sake of proof, proof, and also a uh, truth sake, man. Right, for the sake of proof and truth's sake, right, dealing with that Ephesians, okay, six and five, right, because I, I had touched on it earlier through the spirit, right, servants be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Hamashiach, 
All right, so let's go to this Greek word, G1401. Right, dublios. Dublios. Right, dublios. And Slock, it reads, it's a, uh, right, metaphor. Right, it reads, one who gives himself to another's will, those whose service is used by my shop in extending and advancing his cause among men. All right, it reads, devoted to another, to the disregard of one's own interest, a servant attended. All right, All right, so a this servant. Right, chiefly is is going it's like is 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 going is going into a man, right? That's that's new coming into this uh truth, man. All right, that's that's a so called you know a man of of uh lacking understanding, right? For uh, lack of better words, all right, all right, come slaki. All right, and then we have the so called uh, the word master, right? Two, right? Greek, Greek word two, 92, 62, right? Kairos, right? Kairos, <clears throat> right? Kind of so, right? A man in authority, uh, application master, good. Slock, it says. He to whom a person or things belong to about socket about which he has power of deciding master lord. Okay. All right, Slock. And and there's also other right definition as well. Understand? Uh, socket that the possessor or disposer of a thing, right? The owner, socket the owner, one who has control. Of the person, right? The master, right? Because Yahweh Shah, hey, he's he's also called what? Our Lord and Master. So even so, so even our our Lord, hey, hey, he's master, right? Over us. Understand? Right? It reads. It says in in the state, the sovereign prince, chief, the Roman emperor. All right. It's, it reads. It is a title of honor. Expressive of respect and reverence with which servants greet their master. All right? It reads this title is given is given to to right God right and the Messiah. Right? Because the the, the Lord he he's also called called what right Rabbi right which means master. Right? So right, so your 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 so called Rabbi. I right, understand your so-called master, right? Hey, he he is your so-called teacher, right? So so, so your teachers are are, are your, your masters, right? In that um proper context, all right. Come on, so jumping back into right this book, it reads it's like a page right eight. It reads it says in their attempt to eliminate all verses that could plant the seed of rebellion. In the minds of slaves, about 90% of the Old Testament. All right, let's read that again. About 90% of the Old Testament and 50% of the New Testament was deleted. In the standard Protestant Bible, there are 1,189 chapters, but the Bible given to the slaves only contained 232 chapters. All right. And and Salaki, right? And a brother also did, right? Did the so-called mass because you also have the the uh, apocrypha, right? The apocrypha was taken out, right? The apocrypha, also known as the, the hidden books, right? Was also taken was also taken out. Okay, of the of the original sixteen eleven, all right. That's why right written down the KJV. Uh, uh, a which is the King James version with apocrypha, okay, all right, which uh, uh brothers have understand, all right, which contains all um eighty books, right, or or some would say, 
um, 81, if, you know, if, if you uh, consider the book of Baruch, the, the sixth chapter, um, which is also known as the letter of, uh, of Jeremy or the letter of Jeremiah, you know, some, some consider that, uh, um, Baruch, the sixth chapter, you know, a book of, of its own, right? But all, all in all, it's, it's 80 books. All right. 80 books, right? Which is 1,372 slotted and 72 chapters. Understand? And slotted. And, and we, and we know we got the history of the records, right? The